Hi folks and thanks for joining. We're back on the little Zenith 5S29 getting close to the end of the restoration. Anyway, you can see the original uh, grill cloth here and the uh, backer board. Not in bad shape. I could reuse this but uh, found a great match. A lot of folks had a recommendation for this grill cloth so I purchased that. I actually have both uh, grill cloths that were recommended so I'll pick or choose uh, which one I think is the closer match to this one. Anyway uh, you can see again how this uh, speaker is actually on the opposite direction here but uh, how the speaker itself sits inside the cabinet as such and you've got the uh, four fasteners here and uh, beautiful fasteners. I'll put this back in the bag so I don't lose it between now and the time that uh, I get this thing remounted. And of course you can see the uh, speaker itself here on the back side. There's some uh, de-rusting I still need to do as well. Or at least a really good clean up before I mount it back in there. Anyway, this particular uh, backer board is a, a good match here to the uh, other stock that I have. The other stock is 8.5 by 11 by 1 8 inch thick. This material here is just a little wider, but I uh, double checked inside the cabinet with the replacement uh, cardboard and it's uh, plenty wide enough. I'll take the uh, fabric all the way to the edge. So we'll use this as a pattern. You can see I already have the uh, center marked for this piece this piece and of course the new so all I need to do here is just line this up as such at the top and uh, trace this out and then again the inside I want to leave this grill cloth as is so uh, the plan is and I've already checked all the uh, measurements here for the uh, the speaker mounting points they're all four and three eighths inches between here here and here and here and back to here so um, I'll just uh, draw in the circles here and I will take a straight line here and uh, find the center point. And uh, again we'll use the uh, circle cutter here and uh, just cut that area out we should be good to go. Okay we'll go ahead and get started cutting this out. You can see that um, again I centered the uh, grill cloth here using my uh, mat and I had already mentioned here about uh, using the tape to hold this thing down to keep things from swimming so again I just want to make sure I'm aligned at the top here and I'm flush and again this doesn't have to be exact anyway and uh, let's go ahead and trace out here around the original And that's what we've got. So let me get it back on. And uh, yeah, I just want to take time here to mark these uh, whole locations that are here. Again, I you saw where I checked the uh, speaker itself to make sure they were in alignment. And uh, they're a good match. I think this will be uh, close enough here. I think I'll use my uh, pencil here for this. Okay, this is where everything comes together again from the uh, four points here back to the center here and it matches the uh, center line itself. So I took time again to um, understand the uh, diameter of this uh, cutout area and uh, the speaker itself is again 5 inches and the cutout here that uh, Zenith used is uh, 5 and 1 8. So let me go ahead and get my uh, circle cutter set here and uh, we'll go ahead and cut that. By the way I had one of the uh, viewers ask about this uh, particular circle cutter. So it's uh, Ofa, I think is how you pronounce it. You'll see it. I've had it for uh, many, many years. Okay, I've got everything set. Again, if I look at the uh, 
diameter here as I mentioned it's five and one eight inches and I really like working in uh, the metric system so uh, just doing the conversion if I look at uh, the uh, radius itself again which would be half of this distance it comes out to be right at uh, 65 uh, millimeters or just a bit over so that's uh, close enough and that's what I've got this set to so uh, let me find the uh, center location here and uh, we'll get started Again, I'll go around this a few different times here. Okay, that looks like I'm, uh, I'm through. So let me go ahead and uh, pull out my X-Acto knife here. This doesn't have to be trim perfect. And uh, trim around this area. And then I'll uh, get my drill out and uh, go ahead and drill some of these holes. Okay, got these uh, flat section here. Let me just go ahead and uh, cut this off here. We'll come back and uh, pull it up and take a look at everything. Okay, looks like we're uh, good there. Okay, there's the uh, new backer again. Uh, we'll punch these holes in. Yeah, I think the simplest way to make sure it was a good fit is just take the center of the circle here and uh, put it back in the uh, area here and you can see it's a uh, great fit. So uh, looks like I got it correct. I was thinking about using my uh, hole punch but uh, I just threw in a 11 64th inch bit and uh, I'll use that. I think that will uh, work just uh, perfect. Actually, that's a, a lot cleaner than uh, using my uh, hole punch, especially on something this thick. Let me go ahead and uh, do the other uh, three. Okay, let's just make sure that um, we're in good alignment. And it looks like we are. All right, let me uh, grab the uh, gesso and uh, get this uh, painted up here. Yeah, I can't believe myself. I'm actually sanding uh, cardboard, but uh, just knocking down a, a few little edges here. Too much of a uh, perfectionist at times. Okay, so I mentioned I'll be using the uh, gesso here on this. I think that'll match the original uh, Zenith design. And for those that had a chance to uh, follow along, it's the same uh, product that I used as well on the uh, garage for the uh, inside of the uh, grill cutout areas. So I won't bore you guys with this. I'll come back and uh, give you an update here in a bit. I'll go ahead and uh, put a coat or two on. And it won't take long. And uh, let's check it out, see what it looks like. Okay, one coat on, and I'm also doing the uh, around the uh, circumference here of the uh, cutout area as well. All right, wrapping up on this segment, you can see we've got the uh, gesso on. Again, we'll let this uh, dry, cure for a period of time. We'll flip it over, get the uh, grill cloth stretched out, get it attached to the uh, other side of the uh, backer board, and uh, we'll get it back in the uh, cabinet. So I hope you guys can join me for the... Uh, second video in this series. Thanks again for watching.